Welcome to Grashnor's Grunt Apocalypse, a full grunt overhaul. It's Halo Reach, but all the missions are named like grunts. And that's all it does. Doesn't do anything else besides that. Just the missions are named grunts. Definitely no other hilarious feature of this particular modification. I don't know if they're going to be normal in the cutscenes or if they'll look different. We'll find out. I hope they look different in the cutscenes because that would be hilarious. There it is. The Planet Reach. Did you know the Planet Reach is in Starfield? Easter egg. In Starfield, you can land on the planet that mits, mits, meets the description of Reach, as seen in several Halo medias. There's Borderlands. That's where the Borderlands is. Whenever the rocks are going up and like slanted, that's Borderlands. There's uh, Elder Scrolls 6. That's that mountain. That's the Exo Force Mountain. Oh my god, they're gonna be grunts in the cutscenes. Yes. <laughs> they're gonna be grunts in the cutscene. This is amazing. I don't know what's going on over there. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I don't know why there's like a crouched grunt and why the helmet on the ground had like a hoodie on it. I guess we'll find out. Is the Starman Halo Reach glassed? No, because Starman takes place canonically before Halo Reach does. There he is, Noble Grunt. Okay, there's my normal McDonald's guy. So is the cutscenes not gonna be grunts? Cause there was kind of a grunt, we'll see. Maybe it doesn't like uh, the Master Chief Collection custom armor. We'll find out. The suspense is killing me. Okay, the driver of the plane is a normal guy. Oh no, I have like a grunt attached to me. Okay, so I am a grunt. It's just the fact that I have the custom Master Chief Collection armor on is kind of glitching it out. It's trying to be a grunt. Though. Contact with Visegrad Relay was lost last night. Classic Visegrad Relay. Hours. I responded okay, he's a normal guy. Team. It looks it's like the cutscenes is not going to be grunts, or it'll like sometimes be grunts, but not always. So we're just going to skip the cutscene. If you don't know the cutscene for Halo Reach, what are you doing? You got to go play Halo Reach. It's a good game. You have the grunt and the baby carrier, yeah. Listen up, noble team. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're gonna I wonder if I installed it wrong, maybe? It out, and then Kat's gonna get it back online. I mean, all I did was click activate on the Steam Workshop. You can't really install it incorrectly. Because what's supposed to happen is everything is supposed to be a grunt. I'm not sure if that means my teammates are supposed to be grunts, but all the enemies are supposed to be grunts. So we'll see. The fact that my guy had a grunt like taped to him makes me think that maybe everyone is supposed to be a grunt and it just kind of like broke. Do you like these settings? Yeah, I like these settings. Could be the missing troopers. Let's check it out. I'm not sure. Maybe the weird like uh flamingo guys are grunts too. This is pretty disgruntling. Yeah, you're telling me. Because Halo Master Man is always, like, updating. Let's go, six. If it updated, it might have broken this mod. And it's hilarious grunt. All right, noble team. No, I'm definitely a grunt. Look how short I am. I'm a grunt. Okay, so noble team is not grunt, probably because animation purposes. But I'm a grunt for sure. Oh, I have grunt legs. I got a little grunt body. Yes. That's great. Oh, and I got grunt hands. Dude. I got grunt hands and a grunt foot. Halo Reach tells a story of a noble grunt who betrayed the Covenant. I'm grunting, I'm grunting. Check your shadow. Yep, I'm a grunt. Beautiful. That's a thing of beauty right there. Is this the one you go in? I forget how the first mission of Halo Reach goes. The first mission to Halo Reach is really cool the first time you play it, and you're like, oh, the Covenant's coming, but then when you play it more than one time, it's like, oh my god. Can we get to the grunt, please? It'd be cool if you could skip this walking around part, but you can't. Being a grunt is good, though. That kind of makes it good, I guess. Negative, sir. Plasma, maybe. Can't be. Not on Reach. There's a lot of blood on the ground. Hello? Right, 
What is the cutscene with the elite gonna look like in this mission where he's like bam 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 when he's like in the night vision locker? If he's a grunt in that cutscene, that's gonna be hilarious. Is the UI for Halo Reach always orange, like New Vegas style? I don't think it is, right? That's an addition of the mod, because it's usually blue. Oh, they got grunts on them, yeah. <laughs> the grunts are riding them, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah, keep pouring it on, says Cat, to those defenseless wildlife. You don't become a Spartan by being well-adjusted in society, that's for sure. You become a Spartan by being naked half the time, according to the Halo TV show. I have the sprint. <laughs> yes, that's so good. So it does have some of my like Master Chief Collection Spartan armors on the grunt. That's wonderful. This is the best game ever. I didn't know it was possible to make Halo Reach even better. Halo Reach probably my second favorite one, I'd say, after three in terms of the campaign. Pretty quality campaign. Boing. Boing. Stop talking to him. Yeah, teleport over here. Commander, be advised. I'm reading heat signatures in that structure directly east of your position. Over. Don't worry. They're just going to be grunts. We can kill them. They'll just be grunts. I wonder if the uh, all the grunts are going to be one-shot headshots. Because that would make the campaign way too easy. If half of the enemies can... I mean, if all the enemies can just be one-tapped with the Magnum. Bring it on, the Covenant. Where'd you guys go? Negative. Thermos clean. I think the game starts after you go up these stairs. Or when you're like here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, the game started. Here we go. Game start now. Cortana. Game time started. Is it a different pistol? Oh, it's the Halo 1 pistol. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll take that one instead. I like this one better. This is the one I prefer. This is weird. It's weird being as small as a grunt. That's a very strange feeling. Cortana, we are for the big. So Noble Team is just doing a big old escort quest to escort some random grunt as the lore of this mission. Where did the... Give me the rifle. There we go. Ooh, needle rifle, my beloved. Great gun. What a great gun. Probably a little bit too strong in the multiplayer. But it has no ammo multiplayer. It's always like a pickup. And when I die, it's grunt birthday party, of course. Has his tradition. Uh, in Halo Reach, when you pick up the needle rifle, not not when you pick up, in Halo Reach invasion mode, can you spawn with the needle rifle in invasion? I think you can, maybe. If you can spawn with the needle rifle in invasion as an elite, that's too strong. How is the how is the Cortana's gonna beat that? I guess the Cortana's got the DMR. They can win with the DMR. I'm not doing very good here at all. This is my favorite Halo campaign, but the first mission's kind of boring. Dies. I'm not used to being a short guy. I'm used to be being more of a tall guy. Yeah, kick that barrel down the hill, cat. No mercy. No mercy against physics objects. It must be extinguished. Does the grunt have like one health or something? My shield died in like one hit from the old plasma blaster. I am annoyed how the entire UI is like slightly squashed. Like it's not perfectly round. That kind of annoys me. 
what am I, trying to emulate a PS2 game that doesn't natively support widescreen and widescreen? What am I, trying to play Geist on the Dolphin in 16 by 9? Like, favor, subscribe if you wanted to play Geist on Dolphin. That's a weird game. That's an M-rated FPS game for the GameCube. Like, Nintendo didn't even let you make those. I don't know how that one happened. How did they allow that to get produced? They let Resident Evil come out, but that was third person. No, 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 Resident Evil is third person. Yeah, I know, I know Resident Evil 4 is also M-rated, but that's third person, that's not first person. They didn't have no Call of Duties on the GameCube. They had some Medal of Honors though, but those were T though. I don't think Medal of Honor was ever M on GameCube, I'm pretty sure. Is that the possession one? Yeah, it's the one where you can like be a ghost and like take over a guy. Can the grunt even go through this? I feel like the grunt would like get swept away by the waterfall. The majesty of reach would overwhelm him. So it's Mind Jack? Uh, it's better than Mind Jack. It's definitely better than Mind Jack, which is not hard. It's not hard to be better than Mind Jack. That game sucks. Mind Jack would have been cool. I mean, maybe it would have been cool if the server still worked. Because when the servers for Mind Jack worked, it had Dark Souls Invasion, and that would have been cool, but the servers don't work for Mind Jack no more, so. We can never experience, we, we can never truly judge if Mind Jack would have been cool when it came out because it has invasions. I really, really, really am not liking how the shield indicator is all the way at the bottom. Like, I need that information all the time, put it on the top where it usually goes. I guess because I'm a grunt, I don't got a visor on. But I got a helmet, I got a helmet on, I think, in that third person view. That's one thing that's kind of annoying about Halo Master Chief Workshop mods is that half of them change the UI for no reason. And it's like, guys, you don't you don't gotta change the UI. Interdimensional marble, hang on, I take back everything bad I said. What is that? Oh my god. It spawned a wraith. Commander. Yeah, I hate it when the mod people move the health bar around. Oh my god, I got a wraith in this mission. That is not supposed to happen. Well, this just got amazing. This is now the greatest Halo campaign of all time. I forgive you. I forgive you, mod author. I forgive you for putting the shield bar there. What happens if you assassinate somebody as a grunt? Oh, that's a good idea. I should try that out. Dymo was. Oh my god, what the heck is that? <laughs> that's not what I thought it would do. That is not how I thought that was going to go. It's the anti-air wraith from three? I don't think it is. I don't think that's the anti-air wraith. I think that's the madness wraith. That's the destroy everything in its path wraith. Can it even do anything? It's not even gonna kill these guys. This thing might be useless, actually. I mean, it's good as a battering ram still, as all wraiths are. I'm battering, I'm battering. All right, get someone in there, come on. Someone in there's gotta get hit by that, right? Someone's gotta take some damage from that. I think I got one, I think I hit one guy. All right, this might call for the grounds crew. I got a Halo 1 pistol, might as well use it. If the Covenant was only grunts, humans probably would have no problems at all. Because, like, yeah, in the lore of Halo, like, in the book, a grunt is still a crazy guy. But in, in the video game, they die in one hit, man. They suck. You can just punch those guys and they die. You just go kapow and they're out of there. And you guys got cool gun? You got a plasma gun? Not a cool gun. That gun runs hot, actually.
Oh boy. It's an elite grunt. He's got a shield and he has the elite voice. Yeah, I'll take your plasma blaster. Ugh, the Reach Magnum. The weapon model for the Reach Magnum is definitely better, I'd say. Just because, you know, it came out like 10 years later and has more polygons. But you gotta go with the Halo 1 Magnum. If it's available. If at all possible. Alright, what are we doing? Where are we going? I should have picked my sprint back up. Dang it, I put the sprint away. Can I even get the Wraith through this, like, house? I'm not sure I can. Isn't there, like, a truck for George, though? Doesn't he have, like, a turret flatbed he can equip? Boss, I'm showing more activity to the east. It's more about quantity. A bunch of grunts could totally kill you. Yeah, but we got a bunch of marines. A bunch of marines could totally kill a bunch of grunts. Like, if it's just, like, not the lore version. If it's just the campaign version of Halo Marines versus the campaign version of Halo Grunts, then humans win no problem. The grunts can't even fly the spaceship because they can't reach the controls. Actually, the grunts were enslaved by the Covenant and forced to join them and be the ground troops. They don't want to be the crappy guys, but the elites make them because the elites are taller. Imagine getting first contact with a new alien civilization and it turns out they're taller. And so you're just subservient to them for all time. Ooh, needle rifle. I'll be having that, I think. Me thinks that is mine. Time to go kablamo. Weapon details. It is the needle rifle. Okay, nothing is different about it. Or is it? I am lurking in Joy Halo. Okay, I'll try my best. Might be kind of hard to do with. You breathing over my shoulder. Breathe. That's not how it goes. It's breathing down my neck and watching over my shoulder. You breathing over my shoulder. Some guy just standing there going, <sighs> like blowing air onto your ear. No, I don't know, guys. I swear I'm good at Halo. I'm just not good at Halo and people are watching me. I get so nervous. That's my number one tip. If you're trying to make funny gamer moments videos on YouTube, just live stream yourself trying to come up with funny gamer moments and Twitch chat will tell you in real time if your gamer moments are indeed funny or if they suck. It's very useful feedback. Alternatively, you can just yell really loudly and make sure your microphone peaks. That works too. That's a, it's an option. What the? I think the grenade origin point is still Noble Six's origin point, because that came out of my body, like, way too high. Yeah, it comes out from Noble Six's hand, okay. So the arc of the grenade is the same, but because it's the same, it's weird. Hey, Obo, big fan. Did you change your shampoo? Your hair smells nice. Oh, I'm glad you noticed. I use a Dr. Squatch. Just kidding, I do not use Dr. Squatch. I was tempted, though, to buy the Dr. Squatch official soap because it comes with a Halo Infinite skin. If you buy the official Dr. Squatch soap in Walmart, then everybody in Halo Infinite will know that you bought Influencer Shampoo. Everybody will say, ah, oh, what a cool guy. He bought some Influencer Shampoo. When Halo Infinite first came out, there was, like, a makeup company that had an exclusive skin. And, like, on the Halo subreddit, people were complaining because they, like, pre-ordered the makeup. And they were like, I want to get the skin as soon as possible, but the makeup company isn't... They're not giving me overnight shipping on this lipstick. I gotta get my Halo skin. I was like, what are you people doing? What a bunch of chumps. Glad I don't fall victim for such schemes, says the guy who owns the Mountain Dew and the Burger Town skin in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and is proud of it. Gamblitz, thank you for subscribing. I'm taking a gamble, and uh, I'm going to guess your favorite color is green, because your Twitch name is currently green. Is that a good gamble? You big green head, green fan. Yeah, I really should not have dropped that sprint. 
the sprint is a necessity, methinks. Where is the car? There's supposed to be a car somewhere. There's car terror. <laughs> That's not what I meant. You gambled, right? Oh, dude, he does like green. Let's go. I'm a genius. To be fair, though, when I bought the Mountain Dew skin, that just required buying a bottle of Mountain Dew, which I would have done anyway. And uh, buying the Burger Town skin, you have to buy Burger King, but for some reason that wasn't available in the USA as a promotion, which makes no sense. So I paid some guy in Europe for his code. So somebody else had to go eat the Burger King. I just got the code. I would rather pay like 20 bucks on eBay to buy the Burger Town skin than have to go to Burger King and like order Burger King food and feel obligated to eat it for like 10 bucks. I would, I would rather pay 10 more dollars to have somebody else order Burger King Whopper and eat it for me. Burger King sucks. I will wear their t-shirt though in Call of Duty. I'm so excited that all the Call of Duty skins I have in Modern Warfare 2 that being Mountain Dew and Burger Town, they transfer over to Modern Warfare 3, which is Modern Warfare 2. Because they just had a trailer for Modern Warfare 3, and Modern Warfare 3 is just gonna have all the Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1 maps and Modern Warfare 3 Call of Duty. Oh my god, it's so exciting. When are they gonna have a no Russian in one of these new Call of Duty Modern Warfares? It was in the trailer. I mean, it was in the end credit scene last time. What was the controversy scene? What was the shocking scene in New Modern Warfare 2? I don't even remember one. Because Modern Warfare 1 had the house raid. That was like their controversy scene. We know, Corporal. Let's get you out of here. Was it uh, also in Modern Warfare 1? There was that guy that has the bomb vest, and he's like, "Please, you got to save me, Captain Price." And Captain Price like kicks him off the cliff, and he says, "Gaz." Don't tell anybody that I stole that from that Rainbow Six trailer of that one Rainbow Six that never came out. Don't tell nobody I stole it exactly from that. Except he was on a bridge in that one, so it was a little bit different. And Gaz said, Your secret's safe with me, Sarge. I won't tell nobody. I bought Dr. Peppers for the Spect Act skins for Bad Company 2. Yeah, I had all the Bad Company 2 skins. I don't remember how you got them, but I did have them. I don't remember what the conditions for unlocking them was. For Battlefield 3, you had to buy the game at Best Buy, and then you got like a blue skin, and it could be a blue guy. So, you know, had to get that. I was a blue guy. Everybody else was like an army guy. And I'm like, my army guy's blue. Isn't that cool? I'm not wearing camo in the forest map, making my character model easier to see, but at least I look kinda cool. They even still do the controversy scenes? Yeah, gotta do the controversy scenes. The controversy scenes is just a feature. Like on the back of the box for Call of Duty. Contains one or maybe two scenes that, oh man, they're gonna write some articles about this on Polygon. Maybe in uh, Modern Warfare 2, it was when you go into the civilian houses and you can, like, shoot them. Maybe that was it. I don't know. There wasn't, like, a big set piece scene. Just the whole campaign was kind of messed up, dude. Call of Duty always makes you say, dude, that's kind of messed up, man. That's so messed up. Oh, I can't believe it did that. Oh, man. I am sucking at Halo Reach right now. I'm really doing real bad. This is embarrassing. We know, Corporal. Let's get you out of here. Being so short really is a huge handicap. You can't like see over the hills as easily. Be advised, we got hostile dropship inbound. Alright, give me the demur. Don't let up. In cover. Wish they made a new call of Juarez, though maybe reboot that at some point. I don't know. They made that Call of Juarez cartoon game that was really good, then it just like stopped. I don't know why they stopped. That cartoon call of Juarez was really good. They should make more of him. All right, you guys handle a Noble Six. Are you actually an enemy, Moa? I can't tell if they're actually shooting at me or not. 
I never played any of the other Call of War as is. I've heard they're good, and then some of them are really bad, which, you know, it's very enticing for somebody like me, so I'll play them eventually. I love games that have, like, four or five games in the franchise, and one is just so bad that the whole thing dies. Those are my favorite. What does this mod do? Every enemy is a grunt, and I am a grunt as well. Everything is grunts. It's kind of hard to tell that, though. In this level, it's very foliagey. If we go to a mission where it's like... The next mission is Oni Sword Base, I think. It's like a beach. I think on a beach, it'll be easier to see the grunts. There's like a grunt elite over there. It's kind of like a whole campaign playing as Gollum. He's just a little small guy going, My precious! Man, it's me, Gollum, see? I want the one ring, see? Give it here. I wish somebody made a Lord of the Rings adaptation in like 1932. That'd be good. Did he even write it in 1932? I don't even know. When did he write Lord of the Ring? Oh, interdimensional marvel. Here we go. What do we got? Give me something good. Is that my transport? Is that what the marble spawned or is that like... Okay, no. The marble spawned guns. The thruster. Okay. Oh, it makes stuff fly around. That's pretty good. I think this is from the Cursed Halo 3 mod, maybe? The Laser Light Show. Yeah. That's pretty much what it is. Let's go, Falcon. We gotta go save that one girl inside of that, like, elite room. Noble 2, sit rep. And uh, Noble George is like, don't worry, I'm, I'm a human just like you. Can you beat it? You missed the long battle rifle? No, I just didn't pick up the long battle rifle. Okay. Because in uh, Cursed Halo 3, I mean, that mod changes a lot, but last time I played Cursed Halo 3, that was like a dart gun. And it wasn't the best gun in the game, so. In Halo Reach, it might be different, I'm not sure. I didn't play the uh, the new Cursed Halo. Like, I played Cursed Halo 1 when it came out, and like Cursed Halo 3 when it came out, but I haven't played the new updates of either of those, really. Could be worth taking for a spin, especially because the new Cursed Halo has Mario Kart. It's got Mario Kart missions, that's pretty funny. That's a bit goofy. Can I get out of the plane, please? There we go. I prepare to get thrusted. I should save the thruster for the close quarters elites. That'd be funny. They go flying. Hit him with the light show. Hit him with the RGB. I was joking with my friend that the Dave Filoni movie is just going to have a 20 minute opening crawl covering all the cartoons. Yeah. A funny prank that was pulled on some of my loyal compatriots that suffer through Ahsoka with me each week was that the guy who we all watch his he streams Ahsoka on Discord and we all watch it so we don't gotta buy Disney Plus he played uh, the first episode of Bad Batch instead and took like a solid minute before people were like this is, is this even Ahsoka cause like you know you, you assume that maybe it's just like a flashback scene of something that happened in the cartoon that like you need to know but it took a few minutes before everyone was like, okay, this, this is definitely not Ahsoka, right? Like, this is just its own show. We got it. What's going on? A pretty epic prank. Playing Reach Invasion makes you wish for a Halo, Battlefield, or Milsim. That's called Arma 3 that exists. It's a big old, big old mod for Arma 3. The only thing with Arma 3 is your computer has to be kind of good in order to, like, run it decently. But the Halo Arma 3 mod is pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you want me to become an Arma 3 channel. I'll do it. You think I won't? 
You think I won't just be realistic milsim gaming? I played all the fun arcade games. Now I'm gonna play the boring ones where you walk around for 30 minutes and do nothing. This is my new arc. You know a game is good if you can have a 50 attachments M4 and like hold it kind of sideways and like aim sideways down the barrel instead of the scope. That's how you know a game is really tactical, dude. That's the most tactical game ever right there. That game's got real tactics. Unlike Halo. You can't even have tactics in Halo. Idle game channel? Yeah, I'll play some idle games. That'll be fun. Hey guys, we're playing uh, Adventure Capitalist. Uh, in like five minutes, I should be able to buy an upgrade. So, I'm gonna go like, get some food. Please keep watching the stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna run 25 ad breaks, so please uh stay tuned. Hit him with the barrel thrust. Yeah, that thruster is good. That's a good idea for a weapon in Halo. They should consider adding something like the thruster in like Halo Infinite or whatever the next Halo actual campaign they make. It'd be a fun dude. Cause it just it just adds a forward momentum to anything it sticks to. And since Halo has good physics, you can do wacky stuff. Imagine the speed run potential if that was like an official gun. Or the 10 million IQ MLG plays. The possibilities are endless. My guns do really suck right now, which is a bit of an issue. Is there a DMR in here? There's an AR. Are you DMRs? Yeah, your DMR is good. Okay, now I can win. Not to worry, I found a gun. I just learned from your last VOD that Bungie's new marathon isn't gonna be a single player campaign. Yeah, it's gonna be a new multiplayer three man squad extraction shooter. Despite being a reboot of the first person shooter campaign series marathon. Hey, it is a three person extraction shooter. Why is it three, by the way? Why is three the new squad size? Downsizing from four to three is really bad. That's really not something good that gaming has done. Give me four man squads, dude. I have more than two friends. Sometimes you want to play a game together, except not Warzone, because Warzone sucks. Again, I will be buying the new Call of Duty. All right, Corporal. Stay put. Probably we'll the pre-order. Is that Halsey? Damn. I know he looks like Halsey. Plasma damage. Found something. I'll take that, Six. Not your domain. I got a live one over here. Sucks for the guy who was the fourth oh, best friend. Yeah, exactly. There should be a mod where her punch like kills him. That'd be funny. Like a TF2 crit sound. Keep still. And I'll release you. Nick, eat oh, he's not a grunt. Oh, man. We've been I was hoping he would be a grunt in the cutscene. That'd be great. Smash Bros. Baseball bat KO sound, yeah. Like, if that first person part right there was grunt, that'd be funny. Oh, how I would chortle. Negative four, stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. These Spartans are so nice trying to save civilians. Usually, these Spartans don't even care, dude. Spartans are like civilian schmillion. I gotta stop the Covenant. Alright, give me the, uh, the DMR and the Magnum. What button is the night vision in reach? I have no idea what button does it. Is it a D-pad? Yeah, D-pad, there we go. Okay, so the elite grunts still have elite shields. They're just grunts. Weren't they created to kill rebels? Yeah, they were created to kill guys, and it just so happened that grunts appeared. No, oh, we can kill grunts instead of guys. We can, we can kill the occasional guy, but mostly grunts. If you want to see that plot thread explored in a 
not very interesting way. Halo 4 opening campaign cutscene is the campaign cutscene for you. Because Dr. Halsey is on trial for making Master Chief. And she's like, what? Master Chief saved the whole world. What? And they're like, yeah, but like you made him with bad intentions, though. Like, you wanted him to kill the rebels. And she's like, but... But I'm, I was working for you guys are the government. Like, he was going to fight the rebels of you. And they say, don't you think it was a little bit unethical kidnapping a child to make a master chief? And she's like, I mean, he gave the Covenant back their bomb, guys. Like, it, was, it probably wasn't the best. It, it probably wasn't very nice of me to do. But do I deserve to be... Having my arm cut off in a Spartan Ops cutscene? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. That's, that's probably a pretty good punishment, actually. What did she even do in Halo 5? I don't even know. Who cares? Who cares? Is she even in Halo Infinite? Oh, no. You're under arrest for making Master Chief. But he's the only reason Xbox is a legitimate console, even though it's not anymore. It's kind of funny how Halo actually is the only reason Xbox existed slash exists. Because Halo came out, Halo 1 came out, Xbox was like, woo! Halo 2 and 3 and Reach came out and 360 was like, oh yeah! And Halo 5 came out and sucked. And at the same time Halo 5 sucked, Xbox One sucked. And now Halo Infinite is out it exists for sure and it's a it's a game and X xbox currently is like why am i not buying a ps5 is there a single reason besides that the controller for xbox is way better which is a pretty good reason is there a single reason to get xbox over ps5 don't forget starfield oh yeah starfield <laughs> yeah oh boy classic I want to play a game where a sad middle aged man goes around depressingly killing stuff while trying to be a father figure to a companion. That's what I want to do. Does Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn have like a kid? Does that happen in that game? Probably not because it's open world. They don't want to like make the AI be able to follow you around. How long? Question of my life. Game Pass, that's true. Game Pass is very good value. The question is, when will the station be back online? If you buy an TV Xbox and have Alex. Game Pass, you're just going to have this infinite games. That's true. I forgot about Game Pass. I forgot about Microsoft's entire strategy. Which is why I'm splicing into the main Overland bundle to get you a direct line to Colonel Holland. Halo's on Game Pass. You can play all the good Halos on Game Pass, actually. And you can play the bad Halos, too. Wow. Talk about a bargain value. <laughs> What's your name? Do you live around here? Backwards I'm compatibility? Yeah, if you already have a giant Xbox collection, Shada. then Xbox Shada. makes sense. But see, this is the thing. Xbox makes sense for, like, legacy reasons. Like, I've always been an Xbox, so my achievements and games are on Xbox. Yeah, you already have Xbox. So getting a new Xbox makes sense because you already got one. I'm sorry. And you want that continuation. All right, George, it's very sad. You're going to get blowed up, though, so whatever. Oni Grunt Base. Oh, yeah, the name has changed, too. But, yeah, if in a vacuum, if you're not considering anything else, PS5 versus Xbox, I'm going PS5, personally. Until, 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 this is very important, until, until Microsoft finally is allowed to buy Activision because the FCC doesn't know what they're doing and will actually allow that. Until all the old Call of Duties are on Game Pass. Once that happens, I'm gonna get an Xbox, dude. <laughs> Once all the old Call of Duties is on Game Pass, I'm gonna play some Black Ops 1 multiplayer every day. That'll be good times. It'll probably happen. Roger that. Dot, stand by to receive and respond. Yes, Commander. Look out, there's a ship. We gotta go blow that ship up. Cat, six. I think the best way to blow up the Covenant ship is to go all the way around the map like two times and then go kill it. It's probably a good plan. Spartans, 
Do they even kill it in this mission? I don't even remember. You get the rocket launcher and kill banshees. Banshees get killed. They can add Chief to Overwatch too, yeah. Microsoft characters can be in Overwatch. I wouldn't even be surprised, honestly. Because like Overwatch is basically dead as an IP. Might as well put Master Man in there, try to inject some life into it. Banjo Kazooie in Overwatch too? That would be great. Who would object? Not me. I gonna get a big multi kill, big multi kill. I don't know if we got anybody actually. Yeah, being a grunt does actually kind of change how you play the campaign because you can't see over any of the walls. Like usually you would just chill up here at the DMR and be fine, but I can't see anything. Now I see why grunts always die. They can't even see Master Chief. They're like looking at a green robot knee. And they're like, is that the bad guy? And they just die. They got no chance, poor grunts. I need a plasma man. Anybody got a plasma man? One of those guys had to drop a plasma man, right? Did you drop one? Yeah. All right, come here, elite commander. I command you to die. Oh boy, oh boy, oh goodness gracious. Oh my. Ah! That was my C-3PO Lego Star Wars impression. I'm gonna replace Anthony Daniels. Don't tell him though. Anthony Daniels will probably sue me for saying that. I should continue playing Halo campaigns. I got 90 hours in MTC and 70% of CE max. You can, you can just skip to two then. The first half of Halo 1 is really good. After that, it's kind of like, eh, it's okay. If you played the first half of CE, you played the best part. You did you did the homework, you know? You did the gamer homework. Of like, you gave, you gave it a fair shake. You played past the flood part. You're like mostly qualified now to have an opinion on Halo CE. Except, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna retract. Skip to the last mission and play the Warthog part because you gotta play the Warthog escape. You have to have played the first half of that game. You have to have played up until the library, and then when the library starts, you can skip to the last mission. In position. Like fight the flood for like 10 minutes in the library, and then skip to the end. And then, then you can say, then you can make a YouTube video essay about Halo 1. That's enough. I mean, it's definitely not enough, but you know. It's enough so people won't immediately call you out for not knowing what you're talking about. And if people do call you out for not knowing what you're talking about, you just delete the comment. Check out the comment section of this, for example. Wow, very positive. No one pointing out a single factual error. I must be some kind of genius. Head for the main gate to the east. I'll brief you. You need to play the whole thing just to have the entirety of the experience. No, I agree. I agree. Play the whole thing, but. Limited if not, get, if, if Halo 1 is what's preventing you from playing all the other Halo campaigns, just skip to the end and like come back later if you really want to. Like if you really want to play them in order and you're just like, eh, I gotta get through one first, just don't. Just don't get through one. Just play the rest because they get better. And, and then they get much worse. But they get better for a while. The spark notes of CE, yeah. Two betrayals and keys are slog. Those are no good. Well, see, two betrayals would be good, but it's not. It'd be good if it was a different map. Like, going back through the previous map is what kills it. If it was just a really long battle of Flood versus Covenant in a different map, it could be kind of cool, but since you just did that five minutes ago, it's not that cool. Uh, should I try to get the Wraith? Getting the Wraith is kind of the classic thing. Hang on. It's a bit of a classic maneuver. I need a plasma man though. I think I dropped my plasma man for the airstrike actually. 
if you remember using this airstrike to farm Halo challenge coins or whatever the heck they were called in Halo Reach, you're a real gamer. Oh, they shut my door. Why'd they shut my door? How am I gonna get a plasma man now? It's an interesting topic. Like, if you wanna be like, if you wanna be a true gamer, how far back do you gotta go and how much of a game do you gotta play? Cause like I haven't played like anything pre N64. Like basically all the games I've played ever for more than like five seconds is like 3D. And all the 2D games that I've played have just been like on Game Boy and stuff. I gotta go play Atari, man. I should do that though. I should just go play a bunch of like real old stuff. I was joking about the Amiga in that like Civil War video, I should go play the Amiga. I should go play the entire Amiga library. NES has great games? Yeah, exactly. That's like the foundation. I haven't played half the foundation. Stupid Wraith. I'm gonna go play Balloon Fight instead. Let or Balloon Flight, flight whatever one it is. Can I just juggle it out here? Let me just juggle my plasma gun out here. Oh God, the stupid pickup is in the way of my juggle. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm trying to juggle the plasma pistol. Oh my God. Why does the, why does this armor mod take priority over the gun? The gun should take priority, I think. I am HO in my halo opinion. There you go. Don't play Atari? No, I gotta play Atari. I gotta know. I gotta know about, like, Pong. I mean, I've played Pong. Come on, go over the ledge. Go over the ledge, Plasma Man. You can do it. Oh, if I use the DMR, all oh, the DMR is long enough to go over the ledge. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that physics. I was trying to, uh... Oh God, the stupid armor lock is here again. Get out of here, armor lock. I don't want you. I don't want you to be here. Leave. I don't want the door to shut on me, though. There we go. Okay, mission accomplished. Where does the door close? Actually, it like, closes forward in like a weird slant. So we gotta go forward onto Dawn a little bit more here. Play the Vectrex? I wish. I wish I had a functioning Vectrex. Vectrex is the true classic. Oh no, the DMR got stuck in the pavement. Oh my god. Stupid Halo. Well, ha at least the plasma gun didn't get stuck, because the whole point was to keep the plasma gun. To Three miss the shot on the Wraith. We've got enemy tangles on our six. How come? Welcome to Reach, Spartans. Get out of there! I have a functioning Atari 2600 because it was my dad's but I don't have a TV that it hooks up to I gotta go buy like a weird cable that'll hook it up to a modern TV I'm sure they make those I'm sure somebody made that one some genius guy on like Etsy All right, usually you need the DMR to kill that turret guy, so I don't know. My DMR being kind of stuck is not helpful. Don't get blasted. Almost got blasted. You don't even have to get the Wraith. It's just something fun. It's just something fun that I like doing, you know? It's just a cool thing I like to do. Cat, move out of the way. Oh my god, Cat. Cat, you're ruining my life. It's all your fault. Old CRTs aren't hard to find. Yeah, but they're real heavy, though. They we weigh many pounds. And if, if I'm going to play Atari, let's be real. I'm just going to, like, emulate Atari. I like, I, like, plug the joystick in. I'll get, like, a joystick from, like, uh, Amazon. It's like this. Like, I could play this on the Xbox 360. I'm not going to, though. Echo 5-7, headed back to base. We've got enemy tangles on our six. 
All right, I want to just get moving, so I will just kill them with the target designator, as God intended, as Marty O'Donnell intended. Oh my God! It's got a big splash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll echo your five seven. I'll echo your sentiment. Alright, come on, Halo. Come on, Halo 130. Thanks, Halo 130. I'm going to, Cat, but it's got to reload. You got to give me a second here. I give me a chance. Ah, oh, come on. Why did I play on Heroic? You got to play on at least heroic when you're playing Halo, but who? Why do I care? I should have played on normal difficulty. I should have played on easy. That's what I should have done if I was smart. If I had any brains. Because the point of playing the grunt mod is to see the funny grunt stuff, not to like be good. Oh, I got both of them in one hit. Hang on, I got. That's crazy. Is that an achievement? It probably is. I got an extra tar target locate now. I can just locate anything I want. All right. I can use that in the future. Only problem is now I got to kill these grunts with plasma pistol. Don't you dare throw a grenade. My shield's got to come back first. Thank you, shield. I wish the UI for the shield was the same as it usually is. Plasma Blast. Plasma Blast. Are you still going? Get out of here. They're blasted? They're blasted? Oh, don't drop me. Or don't drop onto me. I'm Dropbox? I'm Dropbox? All right, number one rule of the Halo Reach Road, don't let Cat drive. Do not let her drive the car. should bring us back online with command. Come on, Cat. Get, get in the passenger seat, Cat. There you go. You're not driving the car. That's not happening. Can you go up these rocks? Can you go up these rocks? You probably can. You definitely can. Can't you change difficulty mid-campaign? I don't think so. I think you had to like, restart the level. I mean, you can. You just got to back out to the menu. There's a rocket launcher on the hill with a tree. Uh, I don't know if I want that though because I'm saving the TARS get the designator for something hilarious. Take him down, Gunner. Yeah, take him down. Take him down. Sword of Control was a good voice, but she was Noble One. Yeah, Noble One kind of sucks. Carter's voice acting is like not good. I think what they were going for is like, ah, uh, he's an emotionless killing machine leader guy, but like he just, he just sounds bored. He just sounds like he's yawning in between takes. Noble one, more like not much fun. Noble one, more like he crashes his plane into one scarab. We can kill scarabs, dude. It's not hard for a Halo guy to kill a scarab. We can kill like five scarabs at the same time, probably. You probably don't gotta sacrifice yourself for no reason. Come on, turret man. Turret him down. Turret him down. Carter fails at stoicism, yeah. He's too stoic. He's not stoic in a cool way, just stoic in a lame way. Turret gunner, did you win yet? I should have grabbed that ghost. If I had that ghost, I would have won by now. Alright, good job, gunner. There's still someone alive in here, though, so I must exercise caution. 
Yeah, man, staying in shape is so hard, especially when you gotta exercise caution. Like, I just wanna run in there and go boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's got that launcher guy? Oh, no. Get him out of here. There we go. That was a close call. He could have launched me. Yeah, got him down, turret. I don't know why that turret is controlled by a little switch on the roof. In a situation where you need to activate the anti-air, probably the open rooftop is not where you want to stand. Did the UNSC even think about this base before they made it? Uh, that's a major plot hole. Oh, they got the ghost thing on. I was just talking about ghosts. I want one of those. Dude, a grunt driving a ghost is just natural. That's just the way it should be. I gotta grab me one of those. What's your favorite niche game you don't see people talk about a lot? I don't know, what's my what's my unpopular pick? What's a game everybody's gotta play that nobody played? I don't know. Dolman? Yeah, Dolman. Not many ninjas. <laughs> it's not many ninjas, not that one. Many ninjas is fine, it's okay. Mini Ninjas is a real shelf warmer. Like, whenever you went into a store, it's 50 million copies of Mini Ninjas. Mini Ninjas is amazing. It's fine. It's not the greatest game. I think I rented it for like an hour one time from Blockbuster. That's my opinion of Mini Ninjas. Maybe if I play the whole thing, it's the best game ever. I don't know. It's Breath of the Wild 10 years before Breath of the Wild? Oh, hang on. I gotta play Mini Ninjas. Bioshock? Yeah, no, Bioshock is, Bioshock is liked too much. I tried to play Bioshock and I was like, this game's old. Would you kindly fix the aiming controls? All right, hop in, Marines. Cat will drive you to the base. Good luck. I will arrange your funeral in advance. Replay it again and you'll see how ahead of its time it was. Okay, I'm, I'm getting big recommendations for mini ninjas out of all things. I mean, Grunt Apocalypse is kind of like a mini ninja type campaign. This level is kind of like Breath of the Wild, right? Did you know this mission in Halo Reach is kind of like the mission in Halo CE, like the second one where you land on the Halo ring? Did you know when they made Halo Infinite, all the developers had to play the Halo 1 second mission a million times? And they said, this is the essence of Halo. We should capture this in our game, which, you know, it's true. But also they should have played the entire Halo 3 campaign. They maybe should have played the campaign to the most popular one and said, oh, we should put some of this in here too. They forgot to put any Halo 3 in there. All they did was put Halo 1 first mission or second mission in there. The Raging Redhead, thank you for subscribing. Keep up the good work, they say. All right, I'll do my best. I'm not really sure if playing the grunt campaign of Halo Reach can be called good work, but I'll do it just for you. You're watching Good Work Gaming. Stay tuned for more Good Work content. You're watching We Work Gaming. Stay tuned for more failing startup content. Good news, guys. I rented us a We Work. Now instead of working from home, we can all go into a conglomerate building and work there instead. This mission gives me Sabo Highway vibes? Eh, nah, cause Sabo Highway is a straight line. This is you start at an area, then you gotta go do two things, but those two things like loop back around on each other. And you come back for the ending. It's similar. It's only similar to Savo Highway if you get a car, which should be fair, it gives you like 10 million cars, so. But this is more of a loop, and Savo Highway is more of a straight line. 
No one even remembers Sabo Highway. If you said list of Halo 3 missions, I wouldn't remember the name of Sabo Highway. I would remember the mission itself. But the name of it? I don't even know what it's called. You just said the name and I already forgot. What are you talking about? At least someone else stocks the coffee machine there, yeah. At least somebody else stocks the coffee machine at the WeWork. That's good, it's a good feature. Always replay Savo and the Storm. Yeah, the Storm's good. The Storm might be the best one. Well, I don't know. The Storm is good. And the Covenant is good. And then whatever the one in the desert is good. That game is good. Really, is what it comes down to. That's a quality title. You should play Thief 1 through 3. Those games are old, but yeah, I would like them. I don't know why I haven't played them, honestly. Those games are right up my alley. I should give them a whirl. And they got Bellathor. Bellathor is the main guy in those, and he goes, I had to steal the golden goblet from the noble's house. Kablamo. Oh, this is not good. I may have overextended a little bit here. Needle rifle guy, where are you even at? Who's doing that? Who's hitting me from downtown? Hit me from uptown at least. At the very least, have the respect to attack from uptown. Hey Covenant. <laughs> hey Covenant, what's what's up, dog? Oh wait, no, crap. Uh, I mean, it's, it smells like Updog in here, Covenant. Oh, I, I messed it up. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is worse than the time Michael Office messed up the Updog joke. Top 10 fan favorite funniest scenes in the office. In this hilarious scene, Michael can't do it right. Which makes Jim laugh at him. <laughs> Like, favor, subscribe if you want to see me play The Office. Somehow they manage. The mobile game that's a Clash of Clans version of The Office. Where instead of building like a fallout shelter or like a castle, you just build The Office. And it's like, oh wow, in 48 real time hours, you unlock Stanley, but pay $5 and you can unlock Stanley now. Think of his iconic lines. Surely that's a joke? That is not a joke. That is a real game. Somehow we manage. Check it out on the App Store today. I do a sponsor stream for the office. Somehow we manage. Are you still alive? Get out of here, dude. Why is that car still breathing? There's still a needle rifle guy? Oh my god. Alright, that's it. I'm doing it. I was going to save it for the battle that comes up next, but I'm just going to needle rifle this guy with a little bit of a needle rifle of my own. Take him out. <laughs> Kill that guy. Uh, copy that, Spartan. We're calling in a very expensive orbital strike. We only have two of these in the whole army. Hope you chose a good target. Oh uh, yeah, copy that. Pillar of Autumn or whatever ship does that. I We killed a grunt. He was kind of annoying me, though. So it was worth it, I'd say. Wish Bungie finished the cut mission between Ark and Covenant that they reuse the assets for Guardian for. Yeah, more Halo 3 would always be good, but also they had to cut content in Halo 2 and that cut content was the origin of the bomb cutscene. So, I mean, it would, it would have been cool to go on the Covenant carrier and kill it from the inside, but the bomb cutscene's also like the best cutscene ever. Master Chief, okay. you mind telling me what you're doing in that level? Sir, that playing yet. cut Halo 2 campaign that. content. I wish Bungie didn't suck, but here we are. Ooh, shots fired. 
Marathon will be good. I'll play Marathon. No, I won't. If it's on PS5, I'm not going to play that. I'll have a PS5. When is the console generation we're currently in going to end? I feel like it's going to end before I even get a PS5. It's been out for a couple years now, right? What mod are you using? Yeah, I'm using a mod where everyone is a grunt. It's a hilarious mod. Even I'm a grunt. See, look at me driving the car. I'm so small. Can't even see the steering wheel. Where did these guys come from? Did they just like spawn inside that building? Or did the Covenant dropship get them? It probably dropshipped them. Man, I hate dropshipping. Come on, cat, take him down. I would help you, but I'm on heroic, so I gotta, I gotta, you know, manage my shield here. You know what, cat? I'm gonna put you right here where we can see them, and I'm gonna go see if I can find a DMR. Do I have a DMR? Oh, I do. Duh. Or like, duh, MR. Kill him, please. Who knows if it'll end with cloud gaming functionality? I think that's the end game. I think in like after the next, maybe after the next, or at the very earliest, it will be after the next, or at the very latest, it will be two more. But I think after two more console generations, Microsoft just stops having consoles and their cloud infrastructure is just good enough where they can just make that their thing. And instead of being Xbox, it'll just be Game Pass. Like it won't be Xbox anymore. And they'll rename the Xbox controller to the Game Pass controller. Oh, God. Oh, no. Die Barrel. I didn't even know Donkey Kong Barrel was in this game. That's the kind of detail you only notice when you got a grunt's point of view. Perspective. Tell your chef Linguini I want some perspective. Still gotta play Ratatouille PS2. That's a good game. Get out of here. This may be the longest this encounter's ever taken me in my life. Oni sword base, more like Oni board base. There's still guys up there? Oh my god. Where is the Covenant getting? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. No. Oh, here we go, cat. Let's do it again. Oh, give me a nice checkpoint. Thank you, Bungie. Thanks, Halo. Yeah, I'm gonna lower the difficulty to normal. I'm so over it. There is a Coraline game for the Wii. Hmm. You just like run around and get scared. You probably gotta like shove a block around, right? In a puzzling way. Cloud gaming is more of if ISPs get better. Yeah, the whole infrastructure has gotta get better. But in like in like 10 to 15 years, it might be good enough. It might be good enough that they can justify doing that. Maybe. I hope not, because I wanna have a I wanna have a shelf full of Xbox boxes. If all gaming goes to the cloud, that is not going to be good for my gamer shelf. What is this guy doing that's killing me? Is he, is he really just plasma pistoling me to death constantly? I'm suffering a great humiliation here. Isn't that basically Little Nightmares? Yeah, the Coraline game is probably just Little Nightmares. I had a nightmare I was the Coraline dad. Good thing that's not true. Camera zooms out and shows me hunched over my gaming computer. Playing a Grunt Halo mod. Okay, I will exercise caution. I will exercise great caution this time so as to complete the mission. I'm cautious, I'm cautious. I was told the man I was meeting with was very cautious. 
A cautious man. Here we go. This is caution. Throwing caution to the wind. There we go. Now that is caution to the wind to gaming. Did he even die? Is there still one that remains? Okay, no, I got him. Splash damage goes both ways. It's like that, uh, that Call of Duty quote. Friendly fire isn't. Unknown. Unknown said that, according to Modern Warfare. Unknown. Friendly fire isn't friendly at all. Alright, let's go to the sword base. Let's fight those hunters. Those hunters in that random room of no strategic value ain't gonna kill themselves with a shotgun. Return to sword base. The rest of your team is inbound. I'm gossing, I'm gossing. Cat, where are you? Hurry up. Oh my god, she's all the way over there. Cat, you gotta get in my car, cat. Just go without her? No. No Spartan left behind. Cat, get in. Get in the car. Thank you. We're gonna need her gun if we're gonna get through this alive. I just crash into the rocks, hang on. Six, are you sure you don't want me to drive? Nah, cat, you're somehow even worse than me. And that's saying something. Cause I'm no good. Noble, be advised. Shoot him. Shoot him, Marine, get him. That thing shoots faster than that. Get here quick. We'll meet you inside. They gotta spam the trigger. They get a kill streak. This is how you get a running riot right here. Running riot. Doesn't it suck to be the driver guy of the Goss Hog, and then your friend gets all the kills, and the lobby's like, man, this guy's great at Halo, and it's like, I'm driving, does that count? And they're like, no, it doesn't count. Shut up, loser. No one cares about the driver guy. The driver guy is on the bottom of the leaderboard. In a world where the most instrumental player is at the bottom of the leaderboard, it only takes one bad match before things go south. Open up very slowly, please. If it opens fast, I'm not gonna like that. There we go, there we go. That was a good sliding door animation. I drive. Lol, no one cares. Goss Hog, for when the enemy team's trying to have fun. Yeah, Goss Hog. If you get both of them, then nobody will have fun. If your team controls both Goss Hogs in a Halo lobby, then the guy on the Goss Hog turret becomes the only person in the lobby having fun. Because your entire team can't get any kills because the Goss Hog is taking every kill, and the enemy team can't fight back because there's two Goss Hogs. Oh, that one, the Sand Trap Special. Don't want him to get the Scorpions, too. Oh, no. At least the Scorpion can kind of counter the Goss Hog on Sand Trap. Is it Standoff? Is that the Halo 3 map that has the two Goss Hogs with, like, no counter at all? That map, I like that map standoff in Halo 3, if it's called that. The one with like the like the orange hills map with the two bases. That's a good map unless the Goss Hogs are there. I think it's a better map with no Goss Hog. Standoff heavies, yeah. Don't play heavies. Just play the normal standoff. Oh, he's diving out of the way. He may be a grunt, but he's still got his elite AI. Shotgun time. Time to give these hunters a long night of solace. Permanently. Because they're, they're going to be dead. You get it? Oh my god, they're hunter grunts. I forgot they were going to be grunts. I forgot the premise of the mod I was playing. Have a plasma. They probably still have hunter health bars, right? Who's doing that? Is there more guys in here? Eh, yeah, there is. Of course. Oh my god. I got slammed by those grunters.
Grunt is the best unit in Battalion Wars. Because Grunt has the machine gun in that game. The actual machine gun guy in Battalion Wars is not that good because he's one of those, like, uh, one of those wind up type guys where it goes. And it takes like 10 years to get good. Just a default grunt. That's a guy you want. What is that up there? Is that a weapon for me? Hmm. The sniper, don't mind if I do. I'll just snipe the hunters, bro. Go in there, cat. Cat, get in there. Do they even have, like, the neck weak spot as a grunt? Is that even a thing? Big time supporter here. Bega Wolf 96 thank you for subscribing. Big time. You can be New Vegas. Isn't the wolf, like, the icon of the Legion? Something is. Roman's like wolf guys, so maybe it's the icon of the Legion. I don't know. The icon of the Legion is old football armor in that game. Good luck, we must replicate Roman armor. But Caesar, it looks dumb. I know. At least the mask will look kinda cool. We have good masks. We got good Star Wars Enoch masks for our like commander guys and our commando guys. With the regular people, you guys gotta wear like a football helmet. You're like a catcher for the Diamondbacks. I'm just gonna need Lurm, screw it. I'm just gonna hit him with the super combine. When I go to McDonald's, I get the super combo. I was at McDonald's at one of those uh, two-pronged drive-through type McDonald's's where they got two lanes and the lady next to me was ordering and she said, can I get a chicken meal? How does that sound? And the guy was like, you mean the number two McCrispy meal? And she was like, yeah, yeah, how does that sound? And he was like, anything else? And she said, yeah, let me get let me get a nugget meal. How does that sound? Long story short, it's not even a long story. Short story even shorter. She ordered like four meals and she, she refused to just like say the number or say what the meal is. Like a nugget meal, okay, how many? How many nuggets? And after every single one, she asked the guy, how does that sound? And it was very funny, because eventually he was like, good. It's like, all right, I want to get a, a Dr. Pepper with that. How does that sound? And he was like, good, all right. I want to believe she was actually asking for his opinion on her meal selection. That'd be funny. Got to go to McDonald's and be like, what's good? What's the best you guys got in here, huh? What's good? What's good at McDonald? Was Hunter still alive? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. RIP forklift, he died. He died before I could drive him. A large tragedy. What the, what are you doing, cat? That's not how elevators work. Are we on the space elevator? Where's our orbital support? Do you have any favorites? I hate everything we serve. Welcome to Blubbers. Have your life, please, sir. Right sure does not contain more than 50 doctors. Sassy cat. It's sassy lines like that that made her a fan favorite. That and the robot arm didn't hurt. What a cool addition. Did you know you can get the robot arm in multiplayer? That was a, that was my impression of a clickbait top 10 Halo Spartans of all time article. Number one has got to be Master Chief. Actually, no, a clickbait Halo article of top 10 Spartans would make number two be Master Chief and number one would be like the Halo Wars guy. It would be like, you might be surprised to see Master Chief isn't number one. But anybody who played the underrated gem Halo Wars will know that this guy is a force to be reckoned with. Because when Master Chief is a number one, all the comments will go, how is he not number one? Oh, oh man, oh jeez. Adam, in the system meal. George, make sure he gets there. Depend on it. 
Ranking the top 10 Spartans, number one is not who you think. I liked it in the Halo Reach trailer where Kat was just like running with a bomb and she just like got shot and gave up. That was good. That should have been her death in the game. And then Noble Six is like, I got a jetpack, I can just fly up there. The jetpack in the Halo Reach trailer lasts much, much longer than the one in the game does. I think we can sue Bungie for false advertising on that front. Be gone, grunt. I wish the shotgun had a little bit of a tighter spread. I understand why it doesn't, but I wish I had a little bit more. It's a very satisfying shotgun to shoot. So if it was a little bit more effective at range, I'd be having a good old time. Right now I'm having a good young time, which you know, it's good, but doesn't have much longevity. Doesn't have much words of wisdom for the younger generation of fun. get to the top floor and assist the meal. Why are you so small? Because I'm a grunt, look. It's the grunt apocalypse. The Marines know to not shoot me though, because I'm wearing red armor. They know I'm working for McDonald's. Number one, your multiplayer Spartan. Yeah, there you go. Number one is the multiplayer Spartan. Wearing every different armor and doing every different thing, the multiplayer Spartan is truly the best Spartan because your individual fun is the mostest important in the Halo saga of games. Like, favor, subscribe. It's an article and before it gets to the list, it goes over the entire history of the franchise. Yeah, really. If you watch gaming YouTube a lot like me, Oh my god. Whenever you're watching a video that isn't just funny gamer moments, I literally couldn't see that guy because he was so small. That was pretty good. Anyways, if you're watching a like scripted YouTube video essay about a video game, every single time, the history of the game has to be explained. Which can get very annoying. I've done it too. I'm like, this is the history of this game franchise. Who cares? Like if you're if you're making like the history of the franchise video, then yeah, it's fine. But like if you're gonna be like Call of Duty's Modern Warfare, then the first minute of your video is like the Call of Duty Modern Warfare saga has sold over a trillion copies. Like I know they, I know. Shut up. That's not why I clicked on your video. Uh, don't don't go watch any of my don't go watch any of my other videos though, because I probably do that exact same thing. But I wouldn't these days. These days I wouldn't do that. So. I can make fun of my older self. That's I should do that stream. Watching my old content? Epic cringe. You know an idea is good when I use this voice when describing it. Did I stick him? Oh, I thought I did. That would have been from downtown. I remember how much I like this area as a multiplayer map. Really? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I got a hard disagree with you on that one, buddy. I hate this map. This map sucks. This is one of the worst Halo maps of all time. And this is why. I really just don't like this one. And for some reason, Master Chief Collection. I got a bone to pick with Master Chief Collection matchmaking. For some reason, it refuses to use every map in Halo. And it just uses, like, some maps. And it always uses like this map. And this map sucks. Like there's a bunch of cool maps in Reach that like you never ever get. You always get like the same five maps. Makes me so angry. Okay, I need a long range gun to like get past this. Does anyone have a long range gun? I can't effectively ping these guys from a distance. I can't at everyone them. Oh, June went in. Good job, June. Give him your sniper special. There we go. Now I got this. Keep moving up, Noble Six. The AI actually helped me. Thank you, Halo AI. June, just for that, you're going from number six to number five on top Spartans list. The only Spartan to survive Halo Reach was June. 
that's what makes him the best one. Hey guys, you want to use the weird like ally squad command feature that's in this game and doesn't like do anything? You want to use that? Oh no, one of them died. Hey, join, one of you guys join my squad. There we go. Let's stick together. Private J Toygo is now in my squad. It's a weird feature of this game. It, it just like does nothing. It just makes the grunts follow you around. It's like okay, they already do that. Order them with connect, yeah. All right, Sergeant D Hunt, move up. I'm gonna play Mass Effect 3 Connect, that'll be good. Garrus, use cover. Copy that, Shepard. I'm using cover now. Liara, Singularity. Okay, Shepard, I'll use Singularity. Awaiting your orders, Commander Shepard. I hope when he used the voice commands mode. All the allies in Mass Effect just go, awaiting orders, awaiting orders, Shepard. That'd be hilarious, like RTS units. That'd be hilarious. This right here, is it shut? Is this room shut in the campaign mission? I was gonna try to demonstrate why this map sucks, but I guess I can't. This room right here is why this map sucks. Because people just get the sword or the shotgun and sit here, and it ruins everything. Everybody just grabs the odd mall and goes in there. Ooh, RNG marble, there we go. That's the spice I need. What are we getting? Give me something good. Spawn a wraith, that'd be hilarious. I just heard a giant explosion, so it might have spawned a wraith. I think it tried to spawn a car and it couldn't, so it died. That's unfortunate. It definitely tried to spawn a vehicle and it just died. Oh well. I wanted to have a ghost. That would have been funny. Oh, I can do it again. Hang on, we got an extra chance. Wait, did the marble despawn? Oh, it must, have, it must have made the checkpoint after I threw the marble. Oh man. Oh well. Is the way of things. Oh, there goes a squad mate again. Commander, this base won't survive under the salvo from that Corvette. Kill those Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teams. I'm gonna kill him, dude. Upstairs, Lieutenant. We need those long swords in the air. Gotta watch out, though. There's invisible guys here. They'll stealth ya. They'll stealth ya? They'll stealth ya? Give those phantoms a taste of their own medicine. How's this for the phantom pain? What is the win condition for this? Is it just like shoot down some banshees? Is it kill all the covenant and then shoot some banshees? You probably definitely have to kill all the covenant here at least. All the ground troops. Is it kill the phantoms? Like I wonder how many banshees have to be dead in order for the win to like pop off. This is worse than the ODST mission where you defend the rooftop. Except that one is good because the music goes because of that music. That's a good mission. And you're like on the roof and you like walk on a crane. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty good time. The only bad part about that ODST mission is when your ally walks in front of the missile turret. And you gotta like restart the whole wave. That part sucks. Unlike this part, which is pretty good. Yeah, give him a blast. Give him a blast. Alright, Banshees, get out of here. 
I get the gist of the Grunt mod. It's a funny mod. I kind of want to play the current objective survive on Grunt mode. But also there's like 50 million other workshop mods to play. So Halo Reach, where everybody is a grunt, except some people aren't a grunt, and Noble Six has a grunt baby attached to his stomach, which is pretty funny. Good mod, a classic mod. Not really a mod you're supposed to take seriously, but it is seriously fun to play because it's Halo Reach, and Halo Reach is a good game. That should play Grunt Birthday Party right there. Beautiful, ain't it? Every time a big Covenant thing dies in a cutscene, Grunt Birthday Party sound effect should happen. That's my feedback for this mod. Bye.